Hello and welcome back to Somali Christian TV. We are your favorite Somali ex-Muslims spreading Christianity and exposing the deception of Islam. My name is Naomi and if you are new here, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of new uploads and join the Somali Christian TV family. This is an episode of The Choice Is Yours, Christianity versus Islam. So today we'll take a look at, are you a child of your God or a slave? I'll compare what the Quran says that Allah of Islam calls his people versus what the true God calls anybody who believes in him. There is a stark difference, almost polar opposite to each other. In Surah 1993, the Quran says, there is none in the heavens and the earth but comes unto the most beneficent, Allah, as a slave. It's clear from this verse that Allah commands everyone who believes in him to be a slave. To be a slave is of course negative and comes with a lot of weakness and fear. There is no connection between a slave and his king. Allah of Islam has distanced himself from the people, is arrogant and doesn't want to have a relationship with his people. If you're a slave then, do you serve God? The answer is no, he actually does everything for you. Okay, now we have looked at the Quran, let us turn to the Bible and see what it says of if we are children or slaves of God. In the Holy Bible, in Romans 8.15, it says, The spirit you receive does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship. And by him we cry, Abba, Father. And in John 1.12-13, it says, Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. As we can see from these verses, God sees all those who surrender to him, accept and obey him, as his children who weren't born of flesh, but sons and daughters because he loves us. The true God of the Bible wants to have a direct relationship with his people and to welcome them. A slave has no right in the king's house, but the king's children have the right to own everything the king owns. Believers in Christ are children of God who inherit everything that belongs to God and heaven. So guys, what do you think? Do you want to believe in Allah who wants to enslave you and for you to live in fear all your life because what he wants of you is something you can't always do? If you don't do what he wants, he'll punish you. Or do you want to follow the true God, the God of love, who makes you his child to give you everything in this world? The one who will forgive you and bless you in heaven. The one who says you are not a slave to sin, but you are my children who inherit the kingdom of heaven. The choice is yours, Christianity versus Islam. I pray that the Lord opens your eyes and hearts to receive this beautiful message and to leave behind the fear and uncertainty of Islam and follow the right path of heaven, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. May God bless you all and thank you for watching. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and please leave a comment and share your thoughts. Please also consider supporting us on PayPal and Patreon if you want to support our ministry, reaching the Somali Muslims internationally together. Thanks guys, bye.